welcome to the podcast, Literary Ideas Explored. I'm your host, Gia Sargwin, and today we'll dwell into the timeless works of William Shakespeare and explore the connective nature between fate and free will. I will be exploring this through the famous play Macbeth that was originally published in 1606 by Shakespeare. Within Macbeth, Shakespeare comments on fate and free will through their connective nature where free will is the outcome of fate. Shakespeare utilizes various stylistic devices to explore how free will is a symbol of fate and how ambition is the deciding factor between the actions that one takes. He also suggests that even though people may be more subject to fate than free will, everyone can choose the path they take despite their fate being predetermined. From these key ideas, Shakespeare wants the audience to understand that although we may not have a perfect control over life, we can still live a moral and satisfying life unlike the one Macbeth once lived. So, let's begin with segment one. Shakespeare uses Macbeth's free will as a representation of his fate in several ways to emphasize the relationship between choice and destiny. Shakespeare uses a motif of the supernatural to depict witches announcing strange prophecies such as all hail Macbeth that shall be king after. Through this, Shakespeare scrutinizes the correlation between the witches' prophecies and Macbeth's internal struggle where he is eager to kill the King Duncan. While the prophecies do suggest a predetermined path for Macbeth, he is still responsible for his free will. From this, Shakespeare suggests that both fate and free will are influencing factors in shaping destiny. As the play progresses, Macbeth's ambition results in catastrophic events like the death of King Duncan. During the first banquet, Shakespeare conveys the uncertainty of fate and free will through dramatic irony when Duncan is heard saying, This castle hath a pleasant seat. The irony in Duncan's statement foreshadows the tragedy that occurs as the castle becomes the ironic backdrop to the murder that is taking place. Shakespeare contrasts this to how things look versus to how they are really beneath the surface. The connection between fate and free will is further explored when Shakespeare uses evocative language such as a hyperbole to underscore that Macbeth's free will is overpowered by his ambition. After the murder of King Duncan, Macbeth questions, Will all great Neptune's ocean wash this blood clean? This symbolises the guilt and lack of redemption Macbeth has for his sins. Shakespeare's blood imagery allows the audience to underscore the complex relationship between choice and the inescapable trajectory within the play. Nonetheless, Macbeth following his own free will to fulfil the prophecies highlights how free will is a symbol of his unescapable fate that ultimately leads to his tragic ending. As the play progresses, the characters face a series of choices through which Shakespeare explores ambition and consequently highlights the interconnecting nature of fate and free will. Firstly, it is evident that Lady Macbeth, wife of Macbeth, has ambition. Her soliloquy in Act 1, Scene 5 demonstrates how she rejects her feminine characteristics when shouting, unsexy here, and wishing that she has enough courage to kill the king, Duncan, herself. Through this metaphor, Shakespeare conveys how the destructive power of ambition has covered Lady Macbeth so deep that she is willing to give away her feminine self to gain power. This highlights how overambitiousness can result in consequences as Lady Macbeth goes against moral boundaries which results in her having psychological issues. Furthermore, Shakespeare compares Macbeth and Banquo when juxtaposing how they react after hearing the prophecies. Whenever the witches appear, the use of dark imagery evokes an ominous tone that suggests there to be some doubt with the future. This is further illustrated through a paradox when all three witches chant, Fair is foul and foul is fair, to style the readers and portray Macbeth as so ignorant that he's missing the significance of this. The paradox is mirrored through the repetition of murder and fate in the story to highlight that things are not always what they seem and that appearances can be deceptive. Despite this, Macbeth listens to the witches blindly and lets his ambition control his free will. Contrastingly, Banquo, on the other hand, shows his ambition when insisting the witches to speak then to him about the prophecies, but also controls it by not killing the king himself so his son Fleance can become the new king of Scotland. Hence, Shakespeare connects ambition to fate and free will by describing the choices of characters as contributing factors of their fate. 
In the last segment of today's podcast, I will be explaining how Shakespeare ultimately displays the connective nature between fate and free will by commenting that everyone can choose the part they pick despite their fate being predetermined. Even though for the audience it may seem like Macbeth is fated to kill the king when there is a false appearance of the dagger, Macbeth explains how he have thee not and yet he see thee still. This false appearance highlights the psychological nature of Macbeth and illustrates that everyone can choose the path they pick. Macbeth choosing the wrong path by being selfish leads to his downfall. Thus, Shakespeare contrasts Macbeth's egoism and portrays how we, as humans, should not fall into the same trap. Adding on, Shakespeare includes a blood motif during the sleepwalking scene where Lady Macbeth is viciously washing her hands to get rid of the blood stains to symbolise how she regrets her past choices. Similarly, Shakespeare characterises Macbeth to foreshadow the aftermath of his ambition by comparing the blood that Macbeth took from Branquo will have blood and how that will mark the fatal end on Macbeth's error where his fate is predetermined. The characterization here explores how Macbeth slowly becomes disconnected from the people around him and only cares about his accomplishments. Therefore, it can be summarized that despite there being a connection between fate and free will, ultimately everyone has a choice when deciding between what's right and what's wrong. Overall, within Macbeth, the debate between fate and free will is a central idea that continues to captivate audiences and raise many discussions about whether characters are more subject to fate or free will. Exploring how free will is a symbol of fate and how ambition experienced by characters relates with fate and free will, Shakespeare uses various stylistic devices to ultimately articulate that everyone chooses the path they take, despite their fate being predetermined. So... I hope you enjoyed this segment and learned something new. If you have any questions or thoughts about today's episode, please reach out to us on our website or through social media. Thank you once again and see you next time.